Today we're going to talk about why we created Simple Science. Hi everyone, welcome to our channel and today we're going to talk about why we created the Simple Science line. So Simple Science is a new sub-brand that I formulated um, at Isomer's Laboratories. I'm a cosmetic chemist with over 30 years experience in skincare and skincare formulations. I had very bad skin, very problematic skin. So I have a deep passion and deep understanding for challenges with skin when your skin reacts, for breakouts, for allergies, a lot of things, because my journey has been one of a lot of struggles. And that's how we created Isomer's Laboratories. It was to come up with a solution for my bad skin. And when Darish and I were able to come up with a solution, and we're both University of Toronto graduates in science and chemistry and formulation, and we do our own manufacturing. So now, you know, fast forward 30 years later, we are now launching this line called Simple Science. And we love the name, we love the philosophy. This is what we're trying to accomplish by creating this line. First of all, it's a very straightforward, easy to understand, frank and honest skincare line. It is designed to keep the science very simple. We, we defer to the science that is known, that is peer reviewed, that makes sense. We want to be able to give you those ingredients that are uncomplicated in a sense that they're not compounds. So they are single elements, they're unfiltered, and why this is important, they are in a pure sense. So we we want to say that they're, <laughs> I, I always have the issue of, of saying a skincare is clean because clean really doesn't have a standard, a universally accepted standard. But these formulations are designed in a simple sort of fashion for a cosmetic chemist. They might be complicated for you. Um, so let me help break it down so you understand why how this works, why we created it, what it's going to do. First of all, we wanted to keep the science simple as possible. So we're creating six formulas to begin with. The first two formulas are what I consider microdosing formulas. These are specifically designed to be low dose ingredients, low dose ingredients of things that are otherwise very active. And the reason why we want to do microdosing is that we have seen with our many years of research, really bad effects that people have had with high dose formulations, you know, too much retinol, too much acid, uh, using ingredients that at our very, very high dosage, people are burning their skin. And then what happens is you get an ingredient, for example, like retinol or, or a beta hydroxy and you're using it in a very high dosage and you're using it too frequently. So what happens is your skin reacts, right? It gets red, it gets itchy, maybe you break out, maybe you notice this peeling, a lot of dryness, then you shy away from the ingredient. But then everybody tells you the ingredient is great, so then you go back and use the ingredient incorrectly again and you get this bad reaction. So there's this back and forth, back and forth with a lot of the science and the chemistry of the formulas because people, are given to, you're using too much too soon. So we actually designed two formulas. One is a daytime formula, one is a nighttime formula to give you the microdosing elements. So in the daytime, now bear in mind, I've had very problematic Mediterranean skin, very, very sensitive skin, skin that uh, tends to be very oily and greasy and combination. So for me, this makes a lot of sense. And if you're out there right now and you're suffering from acne or breakout or enlarged pores, pigmentation issues, impurities in your skin, you'll align to a lot of this. This isn't for everybody in the sense of you have super dry skin or dehydrated skin. We'll get to you in a second, but this is more of that combination type skin. So the first one is a microdosing element of three key ingredients. So what we have in the daytime is gonna be your salicylic acid, your azelaic acid, and your niacinamide. And all of these are at 1%. Now, 1% is below the recommended element, especially for salicylic or the beta hydroxy acid. The reason why we've done this, if you have skin sensitivity, You'll be able to use this every day or probably every other day. Now, this allows you to build up a resistance on your skin. It allows you to utilize it in a nice gentle way and it allows you to get those benefits without those savage side effects. 
That's our daytime formula. So we're here, we're talking about clearing up the pores, reducing the size of the pores. We're talking about azelaic acid for the brightening. We're talking about niacinamide. That is really, that really great ingredient for the calming and soothing and the brightening, helps to keep things at bay. But because it's only at 1%, it's really helping to calm the skin. For the nighttime, we created a microdosing of the retinol, the azelaic acid and the niacinamide. And again, the azelaic acid is there for the brightening at a very low percentage, the niacinamide again at the 1%, and then the retinol at a micro dose. This allows a lot of people the entrance to retinol and creating a routine. I know people are wanting to use um, retinol every single night or every other night, but you're using a higher concentration of retinol, your skin is not used to it. I really believe the best way to use a retinoid is to get a calendar, you start one day the first week, then maybe you start two days the second week, and then three days the third week. That's using a higher dose of retinol. In this instance, our retinoid is a microdose designed intentionally to be used more frequently and the studies and research is showing this, okay? That if you do use the microdose, you and in the long term, you will get those benefits without the savage side effects, without all that harshness, the drying and the peeling. I still say go slow, especially when you're starting anything new, but the fact that it is a microdose, we want to maximize your benefits minimize the savage side effects or you know any of those kind of reactions or disruptions. Microdosing to me makes so much sense. So this is part of the simple science. Now these are our two active microdoses, okay? Daytime, nighttime. Then we have a cream and this is our barrier cream. This is a triple ceramide barrier cream. This is designed to actually boost that skin barrier. Reduce your transepidermal water loss. It's designed to create that barrier, to pre create that protection and comfort in the skin. It's designed to seal in the moisture. And this is actually helping to strengthen the skin. This is a step that I think is missed a lot. People are not utilizing enough ceramide in their skin or enough pre and probiotic in their skin or helping uh, to boost their skin barrier, the protection of their skin. We think that we're just, you know, we kind of rely on just the actives. So Simple Science has been designed to be able to give you the microdosing element, and then it's gonna give you that barrier function because you need the protection. We wouldn't go out in the snow, for example, without a snow coat, right? You know, I'm from Toronto and we get really bad weather here. And we wouldn't go out without the proper winter attire because we'd be too vulnerable. Yet with our skin, many times we peel our skin or we put a lot of ingredients on our skin that leave our skin vulnerable and we don't rebuild that barrier function or support that protective element. This is why we've created this barrier product. And this again should be universal, especially for sensitive skin, especially for temperamental skin. And I just love the fact that we can keep it nice and clean and simple and non-toxic. And again, at a low dose, but high, high results. This is the beauty of simple science, right? You're going to get those benefits without a lot of aggressive elements. We then have created three boosters. Now these kind of go on the opposite scale. This is microdosing, this is protection, and then we have three boosters. These boosters are designed to get in there when you really, really need to get something done and you want to dedicate your skin to be doing it. Our first booster is our 2% salicylic acid. This is going to be great for melting away or dislodging the sebum that is inside of the pores. A lot of people are using glycolics and lactic acids. Those are the alpha hydroxy acids. I like to think of it or explain it this way. When you're using an AHA, okay, alpha hydroxy acid, it will actually melt away or clean away the surface cells or dirt or you know dead skin on the surface of the skin the salicylic acid the beta hydroxies go into the skin they go into the pore itself it goes into the follicle in the follicle you tend to have a buildup of sebum oils 
And so I always think of your beta hydroxy as, you know, you get a frying pan, it's on a, on a stove and you turn up the heat and you put butter on it and you see that butter just melts very quickly in a frying pan. That's technically the job of a beta hydroxy. It's to liquefy or melt away, dislodge that sebum inside the follicle, allows that follicle to release that sebum. This is why we want that booster, especially for people like me who have, um, a skin that produces a lot of oil regularly, and then you notice that you enlarge pores. We then have the niacinamide at 5%. Now, in our microdoses, we have the niacinamide at 1%. In the booster, we have it at a 5%. The reason is clinically, niacinamide is best between three to 5% to give you the brightening and the comforting and all of those great things. But if you're using niacinamide in multiple, multiple formulations, you may find that you have too much niacinamide over the day. But if you don't have anything with niacinamide, the 5% is gonna give you what you need. So we've created this for those of you with super sensitive skin, people who need to boost a niacinamide, someone who maybe is using a retinoid right now and is noticing that that retinoid is too aggressive, but you've already bought it, you don't wanna waste it. Mix it with your niacinamide, try to extend your product. And finally, we created a 14%, yes, 14% azelic acid cream. I love azelic acid. It is neither a beta hydroxy or an alpha hydroxy. It's in this own category of itself. Fantastic for acne, fantastic for melasma. But this is something that is, again, serious science. It is a simple formula, it's 14% azelic acid. It is designed to get in there and to address the acne, especially deep embedded acne. It um, also has a lot of soothing effects to it on the skin as well for anti-redness when you get the inflammation on the skin. This again is a booster. When your skin becomes chronic, maybe chronic melasma or pigmentation or acne, and you want to use something that is not perfumed, comes straight from the laboratory, comes straight from a scientist, we have the Simple Science solution for you. I hope you've enjoyed the conversation on Simple Science and why we created it, how it breaks it down. We're gonna have more information on the text box below. Uh, if, our, if you like our YouTube videos and the channel, please subscribe and like and share. And please, I love to hear your comments and questions and I would love to answer any questions that you have. Feel free to contact us anytime. Thank you so much.